Welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Here we are in the city of Yura. We crossed the desert and finally arrived in the village of Yura. Yura was a bustling city, larger than I had imagined. Neil's parents lived there and ran a company called Rolek. Neil hadn't been there for three years. His parents welcomed him home. Yeah, looks like a pretty nice house. They set off fireworks. They were dancers. It looked like a festival had started. It does look like a nice house. Look at that statue in the portico. Yeah, it looks like a villa. This is the house where Neil's parents live. We were shown to the guest room. How nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see this guest room. Turns out Neil's rich. Yeah, it does turn out that Neil's rich. Okay, here we are. Holding out on us. Well, make yourself at home. I want to talk to my parents. It's been three years. Nice. I'm scared. What if I have to go to the bathroom and can't find it? It'd be like Homer on that episode of The Simpsons. Nope. Nope. Yep, potted plant right there. No, that's right there. All right, let's talk to Kara. What a big house. The townspeople seem to be richer than the king. Hmm. Go outside real quick. Yeah, so, we've got a couple errands we want to do in the town. Yep, just a few things. Nothing too compl complex. Let's talk to this apple lady. I see that you want it. I'll give you one. I got an apple. All right. Nice. Love apples. Yeah. Make sure their vending machine has all the apples for you. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go over here. Talk to this here lady. A few days ago, a man wearing a cloak came around. He asked if anyone named Kara had come to town. Uh-oh. I shrank with fear when I saw his cold eyes. Hmm. Should I tell Kara about it? No, please don't. Haha. <laughs> I've found a weakness. Ah. I want an apple. Let's go to the marketplace. Okay, thanks. I can't eat anymore. It means she took my apple. That's great. She wasn't very nice. No, she wasn't particularly nice, but I brought her an apple anyway. Okay, let's run on back down to the apple lady. Okay, I got another apple. Here we go. Okay. Head on back to the apple lady. Mm-hmm. Okay, gave her another apple. Okay, cool. I swear there's a point to this. Gonna do it one more time. Ah, damn, I keep running into the freaking townsfolk. I, uh, I know the feeling. Yeah, why? Busy town. Oh. I guess okay. I guess living in downtown Seattle will do that. Why are you always going to the market and coming back with apples? For Kara or good? As a present, I'll give you this jewel. Some innuendo there. We'll get the red jewel. Yay! All right, we needed that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to our item screen and equip a red jewel. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Turns out if you raise up the red jewels, you can deliver them to the gem dealer without having to see him in person. Yeah, so that's a really neat thing and saves time. And also, if you're low on space in your inventory, then you can get rid of the red jewels. Correct. So now we have a little bit of a chore we're gonna do. This is the exit. Please use the entrance. Okay, get kicked out of here, and then quickly cut everybody in line. So, Illusion of Gaia, only freaking game in the Enix library. We're waiting in line as part of it. Yep, and I uh, swear there is a point to this. Yeah, there is. Well, we're gonna fast forward, and we'll meet you on the inside of this building. Aren't you Neil from this village? Rolek manages this store too. I understand. Please take whatever you like. Okay, hmm. there's two things we're gonna take here. The first one, try some life medicine. The taste makes my mouth pucker. Your power is increased. Let's go for a little HP boost there. It's nice. Nice. So here, it's called the dark medicine. Try some? Yes. Smell makes my nose turn up. 
But Freedian's dark power has increased. Dark Friar's power has increased. Hell yeah. So that's kind of convenient. Um, as Freedan is our man. Going home? Thank you very much. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so now we're back out in the city. One more thing we want to go do. There's a little place between the buildings you can run up into. This is the temple where the uh, Neil's parents worship. This creepy statue. What? The wind is blowing from behind the statue. Yes, we're gonna look. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. Jesus. Found a red jewel, at least. Yeah, and this game seriously takes a couple dark turns. I mean, I. You know, the theme of, like, slavery and redemption is a good one, I guess, but it's not really. appropriate. <clears throat> yeah, I mean. Not sure who these programmers were, why well, they thought this was a good idea to include this. Yeah. I mean, I, I find it kind of dark and not amazing. Okay. So, now that we've seen that there's slave trade in this town, as well as the frickin' other town we were in before, like... Freeha. Freeha, yeah, it's real free. Um, now let's go talk to yeah, these guys. free. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was good, Sean. Okay, two old people are arguing about something. Rofsky. True genius is a violent thing. It sounds like a tempest. You just dash off. Packs of lies. Don't brag. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. There is a dispute about the teapot enshrined in the Mount Crest Temple. On Mount Crest, there are enshrined tears once shed by a spirit. Legend says they save people. Hmm. Hey, you. I feel a strange power coming from you. My intu intuition is so developed, I can sense things even if I can't see them. At the right time, go to Mount Crest to take a te look at the teapot. And Rosky marked Mount Crest on Will's map. Nice. Okay. So we're going to make one last stop here since we're in town. This little guy peeking out the window is Jem. I am the jeweler Jem. He's holding 30 jewels. Ah, dark Excellent. power will be raised. Nice. So you want to get the power raise in the store before you get a raise with gems so you can get both of the boosts. That's correct. If you do this one first, you will not uh, get your Dark Friar increase inside the store. Okay, I got 32 jewels and that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and leave this city and head to Mount Crest. Um, just going to run on down here and we're going to walk on over there. So before we head to the mountain temple, we're gonna go back to Watermia real quick. Take a take our uh, our Karuk back across the desert. Hop on over there. There's one little uh, errand to do, and that is to get another red jewel that we couldn't get before. That's correct. So what happens here is we just need to go talk to Lance real quick. Because his dad is starting to recover and finding out more stuff about his little horde of possessions. My father is getting better every day. Now I, now we can talk. I hope you get to see your father soon. Right. I believe you have been collecting red jewels. I found a red jewel in my father's possessions. Please take it. And we get another red jewel. It's our 35th one or 36th one? Yep. <clears throat> so... It's freaking great. We're finally getting there on our way to 50. Can't freaking believe it. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Of course, it'll give us access to the special bonus dungeon. Mm hmm. Okay, head back to Euro real quick and we'll just bust in and bust right back out. Like an evil place. Okay, finally, we're going to head over to the Mountain Temple. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia with the Mountain Temple. Until then, keep those buttons moving. <laughs>